bit.io forward slash masterclass. And that's where we um, kick off, um, get the ball rolling in terms of finding out what masterclass session will be happening next. Um, that's where you go to. So leadeth.io forward slash masterclass. Morning, Andrew. Good to um, see you in the room. Hey, um, Alex, um, mindful that we've got a, um, a chat straight after this one. So uh, uh, need to finish promptly on time today. But uh, thanks for getting along to the, to the masterclass session today. Welcome. So um, we'll just let the room filter in whilst I prepare the slide deck and get a few things um, in place. And share the screen. Good morning to Frank. Welcome, Frank. Morning. We're about to you tuning in from Frank. I'm up on the Wirral, Merseyside. Ah, lovely. Up north. Yeah, excellent. Uh, welcome. Good to have you with us. Um, today we're looking at email marketing, uh, going through some fundamentals today. So um, just preparing the slide deck. A um, bit of a poll to, to start us off then. Um, I'm just going to share this one on the screen. I should come up in a moment. So hopefully um, you guys in the in the live meeting will get this poll, but it's uh, what aspects of email marketing fundamentals are you most interested in learning about in the masterclass? Take as many options that you think are relevant. So how to build an email list, creating engaging email content, or understanding email analytics, or maybe it's something else today. Um, so if you can just fill out that poll. Yep. Yeah. So um, the votes are in, and we can see most of you are here to look at how to build out that email list um, for votes for creating an engaging email content. Um, so we'll tap into probably email content this week and next week as well. Um, understanding email analytics, not so much of a exciting topic. So we'll kind of steer clear of that one um, for the time being, maybe pick on that one um, next week. Great. Thanks for that. Okay, so um, just make sure we switch over to um, the right mode so I can see you guys as well. Uh, also let anyone else in into the room if they wanna join. So welcome, this is the um, LinkedIn Lead Generation Masterclass. I'm your host, Alex Smith. Today we're focusing on um, those fundamentals to kind of getting an email system up and running. Um, just a quick, Bit, bit of an overview. This is a 45 minute session. Um, I'll kick off with an introduction. We've got um, second part. We'll look at, you know, five steps to prepare quite important steps here that we don't really want to miss out um, to help you kind of kick off your email marketing in the, in the, in the best way forward. Um, we'll look at kind of follow up practices as well. Uh, morning, Richard, just um, welcome to the to the to the uh, masterclass this morning. Um, Two bonus tools. Um, probably we'll move on to four and five next week. Um, so that's looking at how to utilize ChatGPT to um, engage with prospects in an um, effective way. We've also got um, how to automate campaigns using Leadith. So Leadith is a powerful software tool um, which we'll hopefully pick up on if, if time allows later on in the masterclass. So um, today we're discussing how to kind of automate that whole follow-up process. Um, part of the masterclass is we've looked at reaching out to people on LinkedIn and then how to kind of move the conversation into another platform, email. Um, not everyone is active on LinkedIn. So this is why email is a really nice um, bolt on to what we have here. So um, in terms of kind of where this... I just in, Sorry. Just going to see if I can mute yeah. you, Richard, because there's a little bit of noise coming on the line there. Um, can I do that? I'll try. I don't think I can. Um, okay, so um, going back to the kind of the, the roadmap, um, we've looked in previous weeks at um, the complete lead generation strategy, leveraging LinkedIn to find prospects, um, using a variety of different searches. Um, we're also looking at how to optimize um, your LinkedIn profile page to make sure you're speaking with clarity to your audience. Um, last week, we looked at um, effective outreach 
um, to prospects using LinkedIn messaging. Uh, we also used um, ChatGBT. We created that prompt for, for Andrew. Um, any feedback on that, Andrew? How, how's your week been? Have you managed to um, have a look at that in a bit more detail, what we looked at last week? Uh, just mute, unmute yourself, Andrew, if you can. Yeah, sorry. Um, I, I reviewed the. I, I waited for the YouTube to come up, and the uh, YouTube didn't have any sound. Um, are you still there? Yep, we're still there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, the YouTube didn't have any sound uh, on our discussion. I was wondering, was that a glitch, or did I do something wrong? Um, yeah, I think I must have actually clicked on the mute. So my audio was coming over, but everyone else has one. So if you go to the school community, Andrew, you'll get the audio version in the school community because that there's a link there to the actual uh, recording rather than the YouTube. So oh. uh, yeah, that, that was the, uh, there was a bit of a glitch. Hopefully okay. today um, the audio will come in from, uh, from you guys as well. Um, certainly the, I can see the audio levels are moving about and I've shared the audio, so hopefully it will work. If not, um, the school community will be where we, where we go to for that. But uh, yeah. Okay. okay. Um, great. So <laughs> let's just go back to the um, presentation for you guys. So we're looking at um, email fundamentals today. Um, yeah, so for those of you not, not aware, obviously we've got um, a school community. Um, I'll just show you where you can find this for those that are tuning in online and might not be aware of what we're up to. Um, so if you head over to leadeth.io, that's L-E-A-D-E-T-H.io, there you can access um, the, the school community. Within the community, we've got a growing number of uh, people there that were uh, community members that we're building, um, people passionate about generating leads, growing their businesses um, within the classroom. Um, we've got a few um, different modules that you can look at there, all the way from um, kind of all the previous lead generation masterclasses. So um, in here, Andrew, is where you would find the, 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 the repository of previous sessions. And I'll try to share the sessions link. So after this live um, sessions link, um, it will come up a little button, it will say memory, and um, you can click on that and you can get a transcript and a recording of the whole session, um, which is recording. I'll just double check the transcripts going. Yep, transcripts going as well, which is fantastic. Um, stage one, uh, we look at target audience. Stage two, we look at your personal LinkedIn profile. These two stages are actually freely available. So if you want to join the community, um, there's no cost whatsoever. That's purely value add content there for you to digest and in improve what you're doing. And then stage three kicks in with our um, paid clients. That's where we're providing um, an automation software to really scale your outreach on LinkedIn. Um, stage four, which is where we're starting to pick up today. We're, we're looking at email outreach. We've got um, a session on video content marketing and uh, we've got a session on um, setting appointments. Um, so yeah, some excellent um, things in that in that community. There's also a whole calendar of different events. Um, we've got a few guest speakers coming up um, this Tuesday, we've got this session here, which is um, Amplify Your Impact, uh, Mastering Message to Market Fit with um, a guest speaker called Jane Baylor. Jane Baylor is um, a leader client of mine. Um, she's kind of sold a seven, um, seven million pound digital uh, marketing business and um, keen to hear her insights in terms of, of getting the message right. So um, really excited to have Jane with us uh, 1 p.m. Uh, that's London time GMT on Thursday um, this week. So Andrew, hopefully that that's um, a little bit more <laughs> uh, the 1 p.m. Well, I think you're five hours or, or more um, behind us. So um, hopefully that'll be a, a morning session for you there. Um, and then um, in uh, next week, we've also got another um, and another session, uh, sorry, we've got engagement pods, which are basically, um, the idea is to build up and get everybody posting um, some of their content on LinkedIn and then get all the other members to then like, comment and share that post. And it builds up, um, um, you know, a bit of momentum with your social media posts. So, so it gets a bigger reach. So we do that every Monday uh, between 12 and two as a kind of two hour window there to get your link in there, post and like everyone else's posts. Um, also next week, ne next week um, we've got a, a session. Um, I'm just going to find it. Here it is. Um, oh, I haven't created it yet, but there is a session next week with a guest speaker on Tuesday at um, I think it's another could be a one o'clock, um, and that's where we've, we're doing a little bit on um, bringing your unique personality into what you're doing with your marketing um, and such like. 
back to today's um, focus then. Um, so yeah, a warm welcome once again. Uh, my name is Alex, um, 10 years of experience in LinkedIn marketing, worked with probably over 150 businesses now um, in the last three years to develop effective strategies for generating them them um, better leads, um, stronger connections um, via LinkedIn. Um, so today we're going to dive into some email marketing fundamentals. Um, throughout the session, you're going to learn some best practices and proven strategies to um, implement an email marketing strategy. Um, what I love about this is it's it's very much proven. It's worked. I've been using it myself over the years. Um, that's how I kind of generate um, an audience, uh, get people to events and get people to meetings. Um, so a lot of it is learning myself and then it's uh, applying that to um, when I work with clients, um, getting people on board and getting it working for them. So hopefully by the end of the session, you're gonna have some valuable insights, maybe some quick actionable tips some takeaways just so you can implement those within your own business. Where does this all sit in with the marketing model? Um, so this is the classic funnel marketing model, um, describes the customer journey from the first touch point and beyond. And you need to think of this in terms of your own business. Um, what are you doing to drive awareness? You know, So where are you kind of raising that flag um, with your audience? Um, obviously having a content strategy is a great way of doing that. Um, the interest stage, You know, what's the value add content? What's the thing that's gonna hook them in? Um, and get them interested about what you're talking about. Um, so there's lots of different ways of doing that. We looked at kind of lead magnets in previous episodes, um, all sorts of different things there that you can do to kind of pique their interest. They need to move down this funnel and they'll move down to the consideration stage. And that's where they're weighing up their options, weighing up your offering um, to others. Um, obviously, if you've got things like reviews, recommendations, testimonials, all that sort of stuff is really gonna help um, in terms of credibility. They'll move into the purchase step um, when they decide to you know, buy from you. And then you've got to retain them as a, as a loyal client. Um, these days, we've got a modern version of this, um, this effect marketing funnel. It's called the flywheel model. And it emphasizes the, um, the ongoing relationship with the customer rather than just an initial sale. Uh, it's called a flywheel because like a flywheel in a machine, it gains momentum and it becomes self-sustaining over time. And the stages in this flywheel are attract. You're attracting those new prospects to your brand. Um, so that's like the top of that funnel. Delight, exceeding their expectations, providing a great experience. And then they become advocates. You know, they're going to be shouting about your product. They're going to be a, a loyal fan spreading the word and bringing more people into your um, business. And then that moves them back into attract because they're drawing more people in. Um, so just a quick reminder where this all fits in with the with what I do and, and Leadeth. Six, I've created this roadmap. Um, this is a simplified version. Um, we identify the target audience. So we've actually got access to over 640 million uh, verified emails and um, data enriched LinkedIn profiles, um, which means we can be really super targeted um, and go for those real high value prospects that you need to be in front of. Um, step two, we tailor your LinkedIn profile to make sure it's speaking to your audience with clarity. Uh, and that includes, you know, Putting, putting in professional um, header graphics, creating headline copy, all that sort of stuff. Um, and then we've moved on to stage three, which we've looked at in the last two weeks of the masterclass. And that was leveraging the, um, the LinkedIn touch points, um, seven touch points. I think Google have this term zero moment of truth. They say, you know, it takes about seven different touch points with a prospect before they actually start to engage with you. So it's important that you've got as many of these steps in place. And if you can automate all these steps, um, that's really going to help with um, your whole business. Uh, business growth plan. Um, you're going to see higher connection rates and better response rates. Um, email outreach, which is where today kicks in. Um, we're reaching prospects at the right time, the right place, um, automating with email sequences that are going to ensure they get a delivered email into your um, inbox. Stage five is all about video content marketing. It's mainly content marketing. Um, so on our done for you roadmap, we would create 13 uh, one to two minute videos. Um, that we can help you shoot, edit, and then post them to your profile at precisely the correct time. And that's gonna increase your visibility and your influence as a thought leader in your industry, which is which is all about having you know, inbound inquiries as well as the outbound um, outreach that we're doing as well. Stage six is kind of like the icing on the cake there, um, appointment setting and CRMs. Um, we need to push those high quality leads directly into a system that's gonna capture those leads. You know, um, We're gonna have automated emails, SMSs, reminders to prevent no-shows. All that sort of stuff is really gonna help with um, making your processes a little bit more efficient. 
So um, the goal of um, this strategy is to generate leads and convert them into sales calls or whatever your, your goal might be. Um, and then we need to measure. Um, so KPIs such as, you know, the number of posts you're doing per week and things like that uh, are really helpful to understand what impact that is driving in terms of the outreach, the number of connection requests you're sending, what kind of um, impact is that having? Um, so let's just kind of move on. We've got some top um, stats here from HubSpot. So HubSpot is a big email marketing CRM tool. Um, Apparently there's 4 billion daily email users, huge statistic. 37% um, of brands are increasing their email budget. Um, majority of marketeers using email leverage, uh, mobile friendly emails as part of their marketing strategy. So when it comes to email friendly and mobile first, um, we need to think about how that e email is gonna look um, when it's received on a mobile phone. So it needs to be very responsive. And um, there's some systems now that go into so much detail about um, word placement on which line and stuff like that. Um, subscriber segmentation apparently is the most effective email marketing campaign strategy. So that's where we're identifying a specific segment of our audience and then um, going in with a different approach just for that audience. 33% um, of marketers send weekly emails so and 26 percent uh send, send emails multiple times per month so um yeah that's quite a great statistic 77 percent of marketers have seen an increase in email engagement over the last 12 months this was actually an older stat this came out two years ago so it was kind of just after covid um so yeah um, i'm guessing the stats are probably very similar um yeah so um this first stage of the masterclass, we're going to kind of zoom through some important information about deliverability. Um, deliverability is all about making sure um, we put the crucial steps in order um, to ensure the emails reach their intended um, recipients. Um, it's pointless in sending thousands and thousands of emails out if your, you know, your account's not warmed up sufficiently and um, all your emails are ending up in people's spam folders or they're getting bounced back. So that's why it's key to have um, a successful um, deliverability. Um, during this section, we're going to cover best, best practices. Um, so the technical configuration, including something called DKIM, other essential settings, as well as um, the language and content tips we'll look at. We'll also look at um, you know, how to improve the chances of that email landing in the inbox and getting clicked on and opened. So hopefully you have a clear understanding of the, of the factors that are going to affect your email deliverability and all the different things that you can do to uh, minimize um, risks and um, ensure they get delivered smoothly. So let's dive in. So maximizing email deliverability. Um, to start, we always recommend clients set up a separate email account specifically for your email outreach. So that's different from the main day-to-day -day email that you're using. And this will help you because it avoids your emails being blacklisted. And that's, if you're gonna go into email marketing and you're not knowing what you're doing, um, and you're using your main email address, potentially you could get your email address blacklisted. So the next time you wanna send somebody a quotation or a, um, an important email, um, obviously it's gonna get caught up in people's spam folder or junk folders, which um, is gonna be very detrimental. So um, when conducting email outreach, be aware that you may make a few mistakes. You know, you might send a few emails um, into spam. Um, so testing is a crucial stage in cold email. So cold email is when we don't know who we're sending to. There's no relationship there. Whereas you've got warm email mail marketing and that's where you're going out to existing people. So for example, if we've connected already on LinkedIn and we're just following up with a nice warm email, that's a little bit different to doing a blanket cold email strategy out to, out to loads and loads of people. So even if you craft and uh, create this unique, um, valuable email, um, there's always a chance that someone might mark it as a spam um, without even reading it. So having this separate domain for your outreach will keep your main company domain um, secure, allowing you to kind of freely test and not have to worry about um, uh, an email address getting blocked. Um, another advantage, um, of course, is having all the responses in one place because um, that makes it easier to manage and you can then um, be sure that all your replies are from prospects, uh, avoiding confusion from your regular inbox. If you start to get all the prospects coming into your regular inbox, that's gonna cause quite a bit of confusion. Um, so think about um, the warm up process. Um, once you've got that new domain name, it's stone cold, you know, you've never used it. So many cold email senders often overlook this process um, due to their eagerness just to start sending and get, get some results in quickly. 
Um, but to ensure this cold email campaign would run smoothly um, in the long term, we need to make sure that the email and the accounts are properly warmed up. Um, and we can use um, tools online that will help us to do that. Um, spammers, um, people sending a lot of spam emails out to you, they often create new new accounts. It could be they're phishing for card details or some kind of scam like that. Um, and what will happen is straight away they'll get blacklisted um, and then they just leave it on repeat and they'll do, do, it, do it again and again. And that's why email providers are often very suspicious of these kind of new accounts. So it's important that we warm up the process and warming up the email account just demonstrates um, to the email provider or the junk spam server that you're not a spammer. Additionally, email providers have their own kind of hourly and daily um, sending limits. So we need to work towards those limits. Um, otherwise, we're going to end up in the, um, the blacklist. Um, so it's important to know that, you know, those limits, um, whatever those limits are set by your provider. For example, if you're using a free Google Mail account, uh, just a free one, you're probably looking at um, a limitation of 250 emails per day. If you've got a Google Workspace account, you can actually push around about a thousand emails per day. Um, I'm not sure what Microsoft and Outlook, um, what their settings are, um, but certainly if you kind of Google it, you'll probably find out what the limitations are. Um, and then um, now you know the limits um, um, from being blocked and, and you don't want to exceed them. Um, remember that they, those blocks can either last a few hours or if you really overstep um, the limits significantly, you could actually be permanently blocked and, and lose that account. So. Um, in the next section, we're going to cover um, what we call the technical configuration. And this is where we set up your account with um, something called an SPF record. And then we've also got a DMARC record and a DKIM record. And, and um, SPF basically stands for something called Sender Policy Framework. And it's a, a protocol that enables email recipients to verify that um, an incoming email address comes from an authorized source. So it's a little bit like the padlock you get on a website but it's email's version of it. Um, SPF works by allowing domain owners, um, specifically which email servers are authorized to send emails on your behalf. So if you're using the third party software to send the emails, it kind of gives it gives it that handshake, that token to say, yeah, this person's authorized to send, a, send an email. Um, we've then got um, DKIM. So D DKIM stands for Domain Keys Identified Mail. And it's another authentication pro protocol which will allow a domain owner um, to sign your um, email messages with a digital signature. And this signature is then verified by the recipient's email server um, to ensure that the email hasn't been tampered with in transit and it hasn't and it has come from the claimed domain address. Um, so both these um, factors are really important for deliverability because they're going to help you to um, improve the authenticity of your email messages, prevent them being marked as spam or rejected, and obviously prevent um, fraudulent emails such as um, uh, phishing and spoofing um, scams as well. So to set these records up, um, it depends on where you've got your domain name from. So you could have bought your domain name from 123reg, GoDaddy, um, 100 of other different domain providers. Within your domain provider, you'll have something called um, uh, records, DNS records, so domain name server records. And then it's just a matter of going into your domain name server records and adding uh, a specific record. Now, most email softwares will generate a bit of code that you're gonna use uh, to put into your domain. So that process, normally you get a pop-up and it'll tell you what you need to do. It'll say, go to your website place and add this in as a record. Um, so there are other tools that can help you out there as well with that process. If you're a bit unsure, I'm going to share a link in, in the show, show notes, which will be um, a link to something called Mail Sender, uh, Mail Tester, sorry, uh, which is another one we can use. We'll come to that in a, in a moment. Um, and then what we need to do is gradually ramp up the amount of emails that we're sending. Um, so that really helps us to kind of um, just begin by sending a few emails to different email providers manually. That's a really good way of warming up. Um, then you can use tools like Warm Up Inbox. Warm Up Inbox will actually automate the whole process. Um, I can just show you what we do over at Leadith. So within Leadith, we've got integrations here. And we can go into these integrations and go to maybe an email integration. So I've set up a couple of e um, Gmail accounts. I've set up my main one, um, Leadith.io. I've also got Alex Smith dot uh, smith at leadeth.co.uk and what we're looking at here is the warm-up process so we're actually pushing out a number of emails i think i'm around about 20 odd two emails every single day just to make sure emails are not going into spam or or being bounced so for the last month it's been consistently doing that 
um, and there's been no issues there so far. If I suddenly see a few of these red ones creep up where emails are getting bounced, then I can come into the software settings and say, right, let's ramp this up and start to push out a lot more emails, especially if I'm doing an email marketing campaign or I know I'm going to get ready to do a cold email campaign. I want to know that the email address is really good and ready to send from. Um, there's another thing that we can use to, to send a test message. So I'm just going to go to a, an example campaign where I've got an email stage in here. Um, there's a website here called um, test the spamminess of your emails. This is called mail-tester.com. Um, it's a free website that allows you to test your um, email accounts, uh, test your emails, test how um, your address, how, how good of an address it is. So basically the way this works is we copy this fictitious email address and uh, we can click the copy button uh, and then we send an email from, it could just be from your email account if you haven't got software. Um, for me, I'll go into a campaign where I know there's a, a follow-up email as part of the process. So for example, I've got, uh, I've got one here. This is a uh, what I call the three line email. Um, we send an email and it looks a bit like this. Hi, first name. Are you still interested in generating B2B leads for whatever the company name is and it signs off with my name? I can click send test and I can paste in the URL of the, of the test address and click send. Oh, I don't know if it worked. It's not letting me send the test this morning. Maybe it is working. Let's go back and have a look. So we can track the score of the tested email. And we can see it's received the email zero minutes ago. I probably did it too many times. And we get a score here. And the score gives us, it's out of 10. 9.5 is considered really good. Um, we can see the block list. Uh, we can review the email message where it's come from. So this one's come from my main account as opposed to my, my spammy account. And you can do up to three of these tests for free um, on a, every day. It identifies the server address. And we can see I'm blacklisted in one, uh, listed in one um, block list in the last 28 days. Um, but yeah, on, on the whole, it's, it's great. I don't worry about just one. One's fine. Um, no broken links in the email. Obviously, if you've got links that are broken, that will check all your links. Um, Spam Assassin is a, a tool that identifies any spammy words in your emails and things like that. Um, so yeah, have a look at that um, uh, mail hyphen tester just to make sure your emails are scoring high. If you've got a really low score here, like a three or a four, um, alarm bells would ring because obviously if you're sending out a thousand emails or a hundred emails, the majority of them are going to just end up in spam or junk. So um, that's a really helpful tool there, hopefully to, to get you delivering more emails effectively. Um, you can use other tools like um, Talos. Talos is, a, is another tool that we use to um, verify the reputation of your domain name as well. So that was a super quick um, overview of kind of getting getting the fundamentals in place for email marketing. Next week, we'll move on to um, the next stage, which is um, looking at um, best practices um, for, for actually following up with people on the back of those emails. Um, let's go back into the room. Um, any further questions or feedback from, from people today? You've got um, you've got templates that sort of uh, guide you so long within your service, correct? Yeah, yeah. So it's basically um, a done with you. So I coach you along um, three days a week. You've got access to me, um, and then you, we basically build all this stuff out with you um, and cool. get going. Yeah, you build on top of what you built before. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so. Um, there are kind of proven strategies and steps and things like that, um, documented processes and videos. So yeah, and, um, very much so. Yeah. And then, then that were then on your, that's where the fourth, the, the third selection on your survey comes in. Whereas now you're looking at, at, uh, at your uh, analytics. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, every okay. bit of marketing, it's all about testing, measuring and improving, refining that process. So yeah, that's right. Excellent. Um, so um, just for the benefit of uh, Frank, um, I, I basically offer a, a free one-to-one uh, -one consultation in terms of identifying any um, pain points around lead generation. You'd be more than welcome to um, hop on to one of those calls. Um, I can pop a link in the chat. It's leadeth.io forward slash discovery. 
And uh, I've got a colleague um, called Bush. He's actually based in Kenya. who would be delighted to have a chat with you if you wanted to, um, to explore some strategies further. Um, if that's options there, just go for it. I'll just pop, pop it in the chat there. So you've got that. But yeah, um, thank you, gentlemen. Um, it's been a pleasure. And um, I'll say goodbye for now because uh, I've actually got an onboarding call at uh, uh, top of the hour now so uh, i'll hop onto that one but um thanks for tuning in and uh it'd be great to see you see you next week um for more more strategies and more tips and um yeah more support around your your linkedin lead generation okay thanks see you hopefully